I don't know what's going on. But all of a sudden, I heard a car come screeching up outside my house. And I thought they were going to, like, slam into my house. So I came over to the window. I was one floor down, not on the roof. And I saw that one guy abandoned that moped. And he took off running up that sidewalk. And then um, that female cop down there in the center was waiting with the moped. There was, the other cop took off. They had a truck, police truck. Then that truck disappeared. Um, and then it came back. And then all of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five more cop cars came. There's now one, two, three, four, five, six. Right outside my house. I have no idea what the guy supposedly did. But it can't be uh, just a stolen moped. We have um, motorcycles stolen all the time. Armed robbery. Um, two guys on a moped will pull up next to a guy, pull out a gun, and then one guy will ride off with his bike and another guy with the bike they were on. I have never seen this many cops. So where we're at is Nicolas Romero, Mexico. This is uh, Colonia Independencia. And the two women over there by the building are my wife's relatives. So I'll be able to find out tomorrow what happened. It was just nuts. Because it started and it just looked to me like some guy running on a moped. And that moped, let's see if we can see it. It's kind of dark out. Uh, it's not in good shape. It's a real piece of crap. But I've never seen... Oh, looks like they might have got him. They got somebody. This is nuts. That bike has been there for probably 15 minutes at this point and nobody has shut it off yet. The one cop's going to stop Rendita. He's like, it's running. I can't tell if this was the guy who did it or not. I thought the guy who was running might have been bigger, but then I realized that was, that was the cop who didn't appear to catch him. I will update this with whatever um, story or charges um, are told to us tomorrow. I have no idea. And then as a side note, that's one of the like seven black stray dogs that live in this empty lot behind us. It's nuts. Now one of the cops got on the bike. I don't know what he's gonna do. It does appear like they put somebody in this vehicle, I can't see the number on this one. The other one had a number. Oh, yeah, there it is. Nicholas Romero, uh, JS03. Cigarette break. Like, this is nuts. They're taking pictures of them. One of the things um, 
that's different about Mexico is if the paper were to publish a picture of the suspect, when they're a suspect, they have to put black bars through the eyes. You can show the rest of the person, their body, their clothes, their face, you just can't show the eyes. I've never looked up what the actual law is. Um, but this is nuts. I don't know. Uh, I was working on uh, my friend's or my boss's website <laughs> and uh, uh, I just heard this screeching outside my window and it started with just one cop. Like I said, that female stayed with the bike. The other guy took off running, but he was a bigger guy and he had a lot of gear on. I didn't think he was going to catch anyone and looks like they got him. I don't know what he did. Not even sure they got the right guy. But this is what was going on outside my house in uh, Mexico City. I'm technically the state of Mexico, but like 20 miles from the center of the city. It's kind of like my parents live in Westwood. We're the exact same distance from the center of Mexico City as they are from Boston. But I always say Boston. So I don't know. No idea what the guy did. But a lot of cops came out to get him. And if they got the right guy, hey, it's something. We live with a lot of insecurity, corruption. Cartels have all the power. But if they got the right guy, they really seem to want to do their jobs. So I'll give them credit if it turns out that was the right guy. I honestly have no idea. When he ran, I did not see what he looked like. But that's it. Nicholas Romero, Colonia Independencia. I think this is the Secundaria 98, but uh, I'm not sure. It's definitely a uh, middle school, but I'm not sure if it's 98 or not. Um, but that's where I'm at. It was just crazy.